I have lots of cool drones, but you know what? This is a cool drone. Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camp Studio. I'm Justin Davis, your host today. For this review, we're gonna review the Rodeo 150. This is from GearBest.com. Thank you so much, GearBest, for giving us this for this review. So I'm gonna do the world's quickest unboxing. Then we're gonna get the hell out of here. We're gonna go outside and fly this, because this thing is super awesome. So here's the Walkera Rodeo 150 box. And this is the Walkera Rodeo 150. Super cool little drone. I'm gonna try to keep this short. In a nutshell, this is an RTF mid-size drone. It's in between the 130 and 180 popular class drones, racer drones that are out there right now. This one is not a carbon style frame, it's all plastic. Uh, so I'm wondering about the durability factor on this. I have flown it already, it flies like a bat out of hell. It's super fast, very lightweight to motor ratio, uh, power ratio on here, and it really does punch out super fast. Uh, you have a 5.8 gigahertz, system on here. Your radio transmits over to your goggles, so it doesn't come with goggles. They do have packages available if you want to grab those. I believe they do have some head plays and other ones that will work with this drone. It has a receiver port right here, or antenna port. You can put whatever antenna you want on there, but it does come with a stick antenna. I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But it does also say that it adopts F3 flight controllers, which are really popular right now in the market, and that it's smartphone programmable. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. It has a 600 TVL camera on here with a ton of tilt, probably getting almost 40 degrees out of this camera tilt. It's way up there if you really wanna do some some freestyle, you can tilt that camera way up there to see those maneuvers you're working on uh, when you're doing big loops over trees and stuff. But the antennas fold back, forwards and backwards, and they fold down close enough so they don't hit the props. So that's really nice. There's a USB port on the side, and there's a trap door right here that has a little pin that releases it. So push this little button here, and it pops out, and your battery's inside. Now it does come with one of the blue, sort of EC3 style connectors. I put a JST on there for mine. Now let's go ahead and open up the box. I'll show you what comes with the Rodeo 150. When you open up the box, the first thing you're gonna see is your quick start guide. That is updated in May 2016. You got some GearBest info in there. That's gonna be in the box you order when you get it from GearBest. It has a disclaimer in here. You know, don't hurt yourself or fly it into your head. There is a CD-ROM user manual for the D Devo 7, which is really cool because normally they're just a PDF online where you have to go on the company website and check that out. This is some other information uh, with some Chinese writing on there. Well, it was commercial invoice, that's my stuff. So here's the battery that comes with it. It's a 2S 850 milliamp, which I put my JST on there. It does get super hot with this JST, but I think it'll be able to handle it. So um, that's totally up to you. I'll show you guys how to put a different connector on your battery in one of the videos coming up, if that will help you out. It also comes with your wrench and your Allen tool in there for doing a little bit of maintenance on it. Your stick antenna, like I was telling you about, that just screws on the very back right here. And you get another set of props in here as well. Very nice. These are the white props. You can also get black. Those are clockwise and counterclockwise props. And they are labeled with an arrow that tells you which way they spin on. They just spin on and spin down. This is another connector cable, also here. And it also comes with a USB cable. That's a micro USB to regular USB. So for hooking up the drone to your computer, take this foam out. We have one more thing in here. That's the charger. And in the very bottom, which I was very happy to see in the bottom of this box, this is a legit controller. The Devo 7, you can put as many models, almost as many models as you want on this thing. Um, you might have to look at the specs to see how many you can actually add but I'm sure that you can add more than you can probably own on here. So very moddable controller. I see guys doing all kinds of wild stuff to this. This takes eight AA batteries in here. And what I did was 
It has a JST plug up inside here, so you can actually put a LiPo up inside here if you want to. Just make sure it's a 12 volt 3S LiPo that's compatible with a JST connector. So that should make it last quite a long time. I don't have to worry about putting my rechargeable batteries in there. So that's what comes in this kit. Super awesome. I would grab one of these if I was you. Let's do a weigh in real quick with the Rodeo 150. I'm gonna set this on there upside down so that the props or the standing landing gear don't touch the scale. And it looks like we're at 229 grams. It's probably more around the 230 range. There we go. So 230 grams is well under the 250 mark for FAA registration. Don't worry about it, just go fly. See you at the field. Okay guys, here we go with the Walkera Rodeo 150 and the Devo 7 that comes along with it. This is an RTF 150 size racer quad. Super cool, comes with LEDs and your onboard video system. It also has a port on the side for switching from PPM to S bus. So depending on if you wanted to do an external receiver on this, you can do that. That's actually pretty cool. Your upgrade port is here on the side. Some of the things I didn't really show you too closely in the studio because I really wanted to get out here and fly. There's a panel that lifts up here so you can change your frequency uh, or your, uh, your channels here for your video system. If you're racing with other people and you cross paths, you can change that video channel. That's pretty cool. Now it does have a legit remote like I said before. Very, very nice remote. You can fly other models on this remote. And it's not a self stinnering stick like some of the other remotes you've seen on my channel. Um, some of the, the auto level quads that we've flown, like the altitude hold quads, this is not one of those. So if you're used to flying a Phantom or something like that, you want to take note that this one, when it goes to zero throttle, it will cut the motors, as I'll show you later, and it'll drop out of the sky and hit the ground and crash. So this one is fully plastic, it's not carbon. So take care, you know, when you're flying this, not to uh, bang it or crash it too hard because I believe it will break. And it's so cool that I'd, I'd hate to, uh, to break it. And this tiltable camera is super cool. We can hook that up to our FPV system and crank it all the way up if we want. When I'm flying goggles, I'm going to do that later. But for now, for the flight today, I'm going to record that with my fat sharks over here in the chair. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is on the right channel. Okay, I see it there, and I'm gonna go ahead and press record on my DVR. And just a tip for you new guys, if you have goggles, don't leave them out in the sun where the sun can directly hit the lenses because it will damage the lenses. So I'm gonna set those over to the side here, out of the way, and not in the sun, kind of facing down. I'm gonna go ahead and arm this now and do a takeoff in that first mode. This is the mode switch. You can switch all the way down from horizontal mode, that's your stability mode, all the way down to acro mode. There should be three modes set up on this, and I believe it does have beta flight on there, so they claim that it has an SF3 uh, board in there, so it is very programmable, and the rates that come dialed into this from the factory make it very, very, very agile. So if you're a new pilot, go ahead and fly in that horizontal mode. And I'm going to show you how docile it can be first, and then I'm going to show you how wild it can be for the more expert pilots, uh, such as myself and some other guys in the industry that really want to get wild with this. You can go full throttle with this and really raise some hell. So let's go ahead and take off now. You're going to go, oh, there goes the chair. We just got a huge gust of wind through here. Just going to make sure that the, uh, not going to stop recording. Going to make sure the DVR is still recording, still going. So I'm going to go ahead now and arm it. It's like a hurricane here today. And the way you do that is throttle stick to the left, hold it, back to center. So now I've got throttle. Now this doesn't have air mode on it right now. If I switched down into acro and I had air mode on it, it would give me a consistent throttle and they would, they would still be running. Even if I was at zero throttle, the motors would be, still be spinning. But they're not going to do that today because I don't have air mode. So if I go to zero stick, look what happens. It's going to kill the motors. So when I'm in the air and I'm doing some flips, I'll show you that in just a second. Go ahead and switch back into that beginner mode, in horizontal mode, and I'll go ahead and take off. I'm gonna arm it. And I'm gonna show you how smooth it can actually fly. 
How nice. It will float in the wind a little bit. And this one doesn't have altitude hold, so you have to do your throttle management with this one. If you're flying at line of sight, you want to be aware that this one is, it can be very fast above half throttle. So I'll bring it back over here for a second and we are flying line of sight. Hey, how's it going guys? Just a little selfie there. So I'll do a punch out real quick for you. Ready? One, two, three. Gone. So this one has a tremendous amount of power. It is definitely in the class of a racer quad. And if I give it a little more forward stick, I'm about half throttle here cruising by. And go ahead and make a change, turn around, come back the other way. I'll give it full throttle here. Super fast. And now this is in your horizontal stabilization mode, so it's going to auto stabilize for you. If you're learning how to fly line of sight, get something else first before you get this one. Get a couple cheapies, go through a few cheapies, and then step up to this Rodeo 150. Check out the yaw on that, that's pretty quick. Can bring it back over here a little bit. Take a little selfie. What's up guys? No hands off the sticks on this one. So I'll do another punch out. And this one can get up to 100 foot in the air pretty quick, so I don't want to bring it much above the tree line right here. So I want to keep it in close. So now I'll bring it over here before I kill this battery and do some acro mode flips and rolls for you. I'll show you those rates that come programmed in it. I've seen some other guys do reviews. When they flipped into acro, they automatically crashed because they weren't used to flying line of sight in acro. So be ready for that. Even if you do have goggles on, you are likely to crash it when you flip into this mode. So here I go. So right now, I'm flying it with no stabilization whatsoever, and it's in super high rates. I'm going to go ahead and flip for you. So you see how fast that flip is? Super quick. And if you hit zero throttle, alright, see what happens? So if you hit zero throttle, the motors will come to a complete stop. We'll check it out, make sure nothing happened to it. Looks fine. Just a small little crash with no throttle. It's always better to go in with zero throttle if you are going in to crash. Let's go ahead and take back off. I'm gonna arm it again. I'm gonna do some more flips. That's kind of fun. Uh-oh. So that time the battery popped out doing a little durability testing with this one today. So I'm going to put this battery back in there and we'll continue flying an acro and I'm going to do some more flips. So good to see that we got to, uh, good to see that crash a few times. Now we're going to do some real flips. So okay, here we go for the third takeoff. I'm going to go ahead and take off. And I'm in horizontal mode, stability mode here. I'm going to flip back into acro. So, just getting warmed up. It is very, 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 very hopped up in acro mode. So this is all line of sight, guys. The, uh, there we go, motor cut to, to save. The, the low voltage alarm is off. Oh, nice save. Do one more of those, no throttle. Oh, back in the ground. So I'll bring it back over here. It is beeping, but I'm going to push it a little further. And we're going to take off again and just do a few more flips. That's kind of fun to play around with. I am going to put air mode on here though. It might not let me go too far. I don't have too much, uh, too much power. So. That's about it guys, that was a lot of fun. It was fun to uh, fly this thing and do some wild flips. 
I'm gonna go ahead and land and I'll cut the motors off. But my, my review of this, you guys, is that this quad is very, very capable for freestyle or racing with your friends or just kind of ripping around in the field. I'm not a huge fan of this trap door down here because uh, it does kind of pop off in a crash. But, uh, you know, then again, I'm not used to this kind of mechanism in the back. It has a quick release and a slider, but at least they did give a little bit of room up here for whatever your connector is. You can kind of cram your connector in this front part right here and close it until it snaps and locks. And I really do like the fact that they did a really high camera angle on this. So when I'm doing some freestyle stuff, I can get away with a lot more maneuvers. It did bend one little side there, but that's not a big deal. One little motor uh, standoff. But everything looks pretty good. It handled some pretty good punches there into the ground. Some pretty good crashes. Everything still works fine on it. I didn't even break a prop, so. Gives you a little bit of durability test with this, so. Thanks for hanging out, I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.